In times of turmoil, we often turn to religion and spirituality. Following the 9-11 terrorist attacks, 90% of people in the U.S. look to God for support. In March of this year, Google searches for the term prayer doubled for every 80,000 newly documented cases of COVID-19. How do we account for the connection between religion, spirituality, and times of stress and trauma? Many of our usual problem-solving tools are designed to help us take control and, and master situations. But the reality is that many crises have parts that are not fully controllable. Part of what makes COVID-19 so stressful is we feel we can't fully protect ourselves or our loved ones. We can't see the virus, so we can't completely avoid it. And if we catch it, we don't know how sick we'll get or whether we'll even survive. That's where spirituality comes in. It offers a way to help us come to terms with our limitations, with our frailty, with our finitude. How? At Bowling Green State University, we've been trying to answer that question for many years. For one, spirituality teaches us to look at pain and suffering from a more ultimately hopeful perspective. Pain and suffering are very real, but through a spiritual lens, a sacred lens, they don't have the final word. Spirituality also provides us with ways to accept and live with the reality of suffering. We can shift the focus from what's going on out there to what's happening within ourselves. To do some soul searching and reflect on what really matters. To connect with whatever we may hold sacred. And spirituality also offers rituals to help guide us through difficult life passages. Rituals signal that we're in a momentous time. And even though our world may be shaken, we're not in it alone. We continue to support and affirm each other. We've all been inspired by the ritual of New York City residents who open their doors or windows every night at 7 p.m. to applaud those on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic. Their actions speak for all of us and draw all of us together. Cultivating our spirituality then can help us make our way through this terribly difficult time. How do we do that? by reflecting on what we hold sacred, by considering where we can find sacredness in our lives, and by blowing on that sacred spark so it creates warmth for ourselves and for others in our world. In that way, COVID-19 does not have to have the last word. Our human spirit can and will triumph. <laughs>